you ask any Korean person from K-Town what they eat, like when they got nothing else going on, or what, what their comfort food is, spam, eggs, rice, and kimchi. For real? But that would just take too long to write in one name, so we just call it spam and eggs. These are for you too. It's the eggs, vegetarian. It's all good, we're breaking the fourth wall. It's all good. What up, I'm DJ Verman. Hey, I'm Kev Nish. Hi, let's progress. And we are the Far East Movement, and you're watching Thump in K-Town. Early on in our careers, there was a huge identity crisis. It's like, there was not like Asian dudes signed to Interscope. We've seen comments like, you know, we're trolls to like the death. Like, are they a piece together Asian ugly boy band? You know, like what the fuck is that? Like, you name it. I mean, you know. It's not that funny, man. It's not funny. What, no, what just are you kidding. laughing at? I mean, <laughs> and you know, you see the racial comments at the same time. And, but at the end of the day, it's like, we're so proud of it or else we wouldn't have kept that name Far East Movement when people throughout our whole lives have been like, change the name, change the name, change the name. It's like, nah, like, we're proud of it. Funniest shit is when you go on fucking Twitter and you'll see a bunch of people like after like a Jay Leno performance, like, oh, now I get it, Far East Movement. Like, really? What else you fucking think of it? We had met with the head of our label, Martin from Cherry Tree, and he's like, Tell me about this G6 song. And we're like, what do you mean? It's just a song we made for free. We put it online. We realized that to, in order to get people's attentions, we gotta put out free music. And he's like, dude, I think that song is gonna go number one, man. And he just kind of called it right there at dinner. And we were originally gonna go with the softer song, a song we wrote with Bruno Mars and Ryan Tedder called Rocketeer. That was gonna be the lead single. And so then our we would have been a completely different group. He's still supposed to take a tractor and drive it through Times Square. I'm gonna hold you that, Martin. Yeah, he did say that. He's like, yo, if this song goes number one, I'm gonna get a tractor. <laughs> Putting you on blast, still Martin. Waiting. MK, where you at? That would be like the best content ever. We're working on K-Town Riot for like a year and a half. We had no opportunity at one point to put out any album. No EP, no album, no anything. It's just labels like, yeah, now's not the time. We put Illust out on SoundCloud with Riff Raff and it, Next thing you know, Power 106 started playing it and labels started calling like, yo, what's this song? And we're like, oh yeah, that one? Uh, <laughs> we've been working on an EP. And then next thing you know, we get the amazing phone call that, hey, you guys want to play on an EP uh, in the winter? And we're like, oh, thank the Lord, you know, yeah. So you definitely like don't take it for granted, like being able to put something out. You know, it's a lot harder than you think where it's like when you're with a major label, you, you know, you got to get a lot of approvals and whatnot to get some music out, which is crazy, but hey, we got K-Town Riot out, so. It's just going in there and free flowing. As long as the beer's flowing and, and, the, and the blunts are freshly rolled, I think like the unpredictability is the best part about making music. 